welcome back. Um, okay, so we have four pages, and I do have quite a few papers left. Let me first update what I have left. Okay, two short ones, another one, and then the strips, the flowers, the Humpty Dumpty, and one full sheet. So, yeah, I think we can do one more page, and then I will stop because we need some more, of course. I'm going to do one more page. So, let's grab another A4 and make that happen know the measurements by now which my A4 is okay let's make another tunnel I do love my new tool absolutely stunning so again thank you Lucy I know you watch every minute can't thank you enough I love it. No idea what it's called. I think just a large bone folder or something like that, but I love it. Okay, so let's glue this hinge together. And then we have our base tunnel. Oh, I can't leave that open. It's that simple. Yes, it is. Okay, let's see what we're going to do today. Yes, I know now. Okay. <laughs> First, I'm going to see what the middle is. Let's use a larger piece. This is better. 21, so that is 10 and a half. Okay, that's the middle. Alright, so let's grab some paper. Okay, so this is a leftover. Does not matter the size. I need to cut that down. And I'm gonna cut this just a millimeter smaller than the base. I want to make a hinge. So let me go out the small one. Fold it. Okay. Now I want to make First, the closure. So I'm gonna make two together. That's easier. Let me first make the closure. How large do we want that? Well, I don't want it too small. <coughs> think one and a half. Yeah, I'm gonna cut this at a one and a half inch. That's wide enough. One and a half. Okay. That's the first step. Um yeah, we can make it a little decorative, so let's make some round corners. That's better. Alright, so let's attach these two. You have no idea what I'm going to do. <laughs> oh, here we go. But it's something that's repeatedly coming back in my pages. And I love this opportunity to do this again, especially with the landscape style album. That's a perfect one. So I'm just going to apply these 
against each other. It's just okay. That's that. Now we only have this. <laughs> okay, we have another piece of paper. And can I make two of these? I think I can. So I'm just going to apply. And I think if I fold this in half, then I do have two. Yes, my mark is still here, so I have two. Now, make a flippity flop. I don't know if I can make two out of them, so I'm just going to apply on each on each piece of paper a hinge and then I'm gonna see all right so the first one I'm going to attach keep it here because there is where I'm gonna glue it down now stay away two millimeters from this fold line Okay, then we cut this down. Keep your other piece, perhaps we're going to use it. And just apply this on here, on this side. See if it's nice and steady. That's the first one. Okay, now for the handy, I will turn this away. I'm going to do exactly the same thing on this side. So I'm just assuming that I am applying this on the right side. Stay away two millimeters away from that edge. And cut your circle down. And glue it on. Check if it's nice straight. And it is. There we go. I'm going to turn this back. Now, I do have one more. But it's not wide enough. But is that a big deal? Well, I can make... Well, I think if I have a hinge, then this is too short. So... I'm going to leave this. You can use this for tags. I'm just going to grab another one. I'm going to do exactly the same. Um, yes. The same size. Again, I'm going to fold this in half so I have two equal pages. this at my mark I'm going to make two hinges again Oops, fold it good, otherwise your page is not is this a steady one. Is this a steady one? I think I messed this one up. Wait just a second. I'm just gonna see if can I I think I can. Cool. That's cool. Alright, so 
where we are. We are at this point. Okay, so this is the closure. Open this up. I want to add one more. So stay away one millimeter on this fold line. And again, stay away two millimeters on this side. Cut it down and glue it on. This is a perfect way to add nice pictures on a page. Check if you are nice straight. Yes, I am. Okay, I'm going to turn this over and do it again. Stay away a little from that fold line and stay away at least two millimeters away from this fold line. And I'm going to cut this down. And glue it. Yep, here we go. So that is nice. Open, open, and yeah, it would be not me if I will not make a nice pocket at the bottom. So I'm just grabbing my leftover piece. I'm going to cut this in half and then it would be um, one three four. So it's no big deal which size pocket you have. You can see for yourself how deep your pocket you want it to be. Okay, so I'm gonna. Cool, I can use this too. That makes a nice fine line. Stunning. Okay. Yep, here we are. Stay away from your fold line. And here too. And let's cut this a little shorter. Fold it. Yep, that was supposed to be falling down. And glue it on. Yep, cool. I think I forgot the bottom. No big deal. Yes, okay. That is that for the one side. Let's go to the other one. Do exactly the same thing. Stay away from those edges. You don't want that your pocket, your page is not going to be closed. So you need to stay away from those edges. Yes, here we are. 
that's that. Okay. Now I'm gonna use these little tiny, shall I use those little tiny ones? I can, or we can make our own swing top. So I always like making a nice, the small ones are perfect for, I'm gonna make my own swing tops with just some chipboard pieces. Yes, I like that. All right. To put some decoration on. Cool. Okay, let me see. I do like to make my own swing top and I want to do a little shape and I can't remember the name of it, but it looks like this. But this is too small. I want to make a bigger one. So, and this, this one is very useful. So let's make a bigger one. So I'm just going to make a line. And there must be other ways, but this is the scrap queen way. How I'm going to do it. the middle row line and then I'm going from corner to corner from my lines and then I have a bigger shape wait I'm just gonna search for that word I wanna know I don't wanna know I wanna know what that word is. Um, vlieger is. Mm. Yeah, it's not the word. Um, flyer. Well, anyway, see, it's not always working with the translating. Here in Holland we call it a vlieger and it's something that you put up in the sky, very colorful things and with a long tail underneath. And then you have a long rope underneath and there are adults that do that too but especially kids love doing that okay so I and especially when this is a, a child's book I like to add the same shape yeah I like this and I also can make a little oh yeah that's nice with the leftover pieces <laughs> okay so I am gonna make the same one out of chipboard the same shape I hope I draw it nicely I think I did Cut it out, and of course we need we need two. So, but I'm first going to make the first one. Well, let's make another one. Okay. 
There we go. See, I use everything. Every single piece we can use. Okay. And now comes that point. I know. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> if this is going to work, but I'm just going to try. I am going to cut these in four pieces and, uh, and yes I am I am I am gonna see for the design paper if I can add these on here now I do not have that much but we can manage we can manage something on these little pieces so yeah <laughs> I'm going to play a little <clears throat> and then I come back. Okay? <laughs> oh yeah, I love it. 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 It's so cool. Okay, so these are my finishing flyers. I'm just going to call it flyers. I have no idea. Oh my gosh, my fingers are so terrible. Let me clean that up with the clean tissues hate this dress ink but it's needed okay that's better um anyway so yeah i think i did a good job i love how these turns out so cute it takes a little while but i love it so cool and it's perfect for this Page. So let me, and yes, I did, I did choose again for that dot background. I thought when I made these flyers, then, um, then yeah, you can imagine if you are putting um, another color on this piece, and this will be totally not be seen. And on black, it looks perfect. So that is why I choose for black. Now let's see. Don't glue it down just yet. Well, it can be because we do not. We do want on the back too. Well, yeah. Let's do that. Let's glue it on. Because we do need something for the back. So that is no need of not putting this on already. Okay. So, where do we want this? First of all, I am gonna squeeze a little hole. And I'm not going to do that in the middle. I'm gonna do this a little lower than that middle. Yep. Right there. Same on the other one. A little lower than the middle. Okay, so now we can play. Now, let's see. What is the middle? It should be perfect if I line this up, but I do not know if that fits and that isn't so that is not possible it needs to be a little wider let's see i think when you have this position then it will be nice yes i think that's a good idea Wait just a second. This is going to be up. So it's no big deal. I think. Yes. This needs to be a little lower. This needs to be on the way. Not in that. 
not in that position to bump in each other. So yeah, this is the perfect spot. Is this in the middle? Yes, it is. Squeeze that hole. And I think for this one we don't have to make it higher because that flat, this flap is already flat. Oh, not squeeze it too stiff. We want it not too stiff, not too tight. We want this to be movable. Yep, look up. All right, so yes, perfect. That is so cool. Okay, I'm just going to do this together on the other side with you together. And again, I choose that wet color. It's perfect. I love that. Okay. Let's glue it on. Do it again. See if this is nice. And then it fits. Yes, it can be right here. Nice wet in here, not too tight. Yeah, cool. That is nice, nice, nice. And I still have some decorative edge just to give it just a little. Oh, I can also do it at the bottom. But no, I'm going to do it up here. To give that just extra touch. And I still can put something on the bottom here or a picture. That's totally up to you, but I will do that later. See how fun this is! Okay, so you open this up and you have lots of space. Open this up. See how nice and smooth that is. So cool. Oh yeah. I love it. Love it! Okay, takes a little while, but it does the trick. Okay, now let's see what kind of decoration I want on the inside. Right. <laughs> oh yeah, I finished it up, and so we, I get loose a little and I decorate. Okay, so what did I do? I used this black and white, and then on the inside I finally I did not realize that I did not use the back of this page. So this was a perfect opportunity to use this because I love it. I love the images. I love the old mother goose when she wanted to wander. Wood white, through the air, through the air on a very fine garden. Under. Okay. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet eating of curds and way there come a big spider. All right, um, so um, yeah, a big pocket, not a big pocket, a small pocket, which I made just a little tag in it. And um, yeah, that closes all up. Same here. Oh, and this piece right here, I did not glue it down. So you still can add your photo underneath. Okay, so that is this page. Yep, here we go. Yes. 
needs to set down a little. I like it. Yeah, cool. Now, I noticed that I used this, of course, on this side too. So perhaps I'm going to flip this on and make another page on this side, which is not too much of this dots. I think this is too much. So I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to make a page on here. That's not too much with that dots. Okay. That is just what I was trying to tell you. Okay. Let's go to the next page. I think this is the last page and then we go to the cover. Cool. Okay. Let's start the last page. Um, this is a child album. So there is needed to be place for photos. So I am gonna cut a piece of paper that is, well, let's make two of these same, same as a little blow up. Oh, there we go, my pencil. Fold this in half and cut it down on that mark. Grab first my pencil. There it is. Where it is? Oh, it's far, far away. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> okay, let's make a flippity flop. Let's do that. We need a few pages. So I'm gonna make a hat one more, half inch. Hold it. Okay. Grab your page. Beware that you are straight and this is straight. I want a few flippity page, flip pages. And let's say the first one, how wide, well let me, let's make this a small one, three. Let's make this three inches, well a little wider, so we have just a little more space. I'm going to make this three, how is this, three one, three one fourth, that's the first one. I'm just going to add this and I'm keeping away a half inch, about a half inch. Just going to glue this down. Yes, that's awkward. I know. I am awkward. <laughs> Stay away a half inch away from that edge and glue it just on. Go crazy. Okay, that's the first one. Let's make, well, I do have this one. Let's make another one. Let's make another fold line. Let's go wild. Okay, let's say, and I don't want to make a, especially a waterfall or something but I do like flip pages now this one is is four okay so it's a little wider that's no big deal but it's still let's say why not make it hmm what shall we do? I can make it completely the same. Yeah, why not? Let's make it the same. I'm just going to put this on the same size as the other one. Okay, so you don't see that there are more pages under. How cool is that? Oops. So we have one, two pages, and you don't see that under here is another page. 
Cool. Okay, so let's grab another one. Now this one, yeah, we have that space right there. Let's know, yeah, how wide do we want this? This one was four. So let's make the next one five. Let's cut this at five inches. Go crazy, guys. <laughs> do something that you will normally not do. And let's see how it goes. And still, I'm going to add this at the same place. Okay, at the same place. It's one, two, three pages. One, two, three pages. Same here. Let's do it again. Let's grab another piece of paper. Cut it down. Well, I think. Now I'm first going to cut this way. Is this the same size? Check, check, check. Yep, it is. Okay, let's make another flippity flop. This one was five. Shall we make this? Well, why not? Let's cut this at six. Oh, this is getting better and better. <laughs> it's almost a book. And again, on the same page right here. Let it be a surprise. Okay, one, two, three, four. That's cool. Now we go to the last one. Now I don't think that this. Nope. Well, yes, it can. Wait just a second. It can. Let me just cut this. Make a flippity flop. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh, that is perfect. And if I put this on the edge, I only need to cut down just a slightly piece. And then we can glue it down, and that is done. So there is no rules of having special shapes or measurements. It isn't. Just go with the flow. Just go with the flow. So actually we have a nice book right here. And yes, this is getting bumpy, but I don't mind. I like that. Okay, so we have one page, two page, three page, four, five. That is nice. That is what I like. Okay, now um, for the closure. I like to use something as a magnet. And, well, this one, I don't know, I'm going to cut this off. Well, I can use this, well, no. <laughs> I can, I don't know. That depends on how wide I want this. Um, I don't think that this is, yeah, this is a good 
size. Let's make this three inches. And I'm gonna make a few fold lines so it can grow. So what I'm gonna do is I make a few fold lines. So first on that mark and then I'm going ahead adding a few more. Just I have no idea how large this is needed. But I made four lines so that is quite enough. And now I'm going to cut this at a half inch. I still have a nice little tack to use. Okay, fold this down at the first fold line and the rest it can be done when it's done. Okay, let's add this. nicely in the middle there we go I'm going to use an eyelet of course for the decoration oh it's waning I always like the sound of the noise on a window when it's raining. I love that. Okay, so that is the base and of course we're going to need a magnet. But, well, before I forgot, let's grab a magnet. Because I don't want to forget that. Now let's see, I don't want this because this needs to be growing, so I don't want this to be too low. So I'm just going to put right on here. Okay. So now I don't forget that we want to do a magnet. But how wide this is going to be, that is going to be for the very last when I added all these papers on. So here is going to be that magnet and we still have some place for a nice pocket. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, let's do a pocket. Why not? Let's, let's see which do I have. Oh, this is a good size. Use what you have and if you want to know, this is 2 inch. Okay, let's make a pocket. I like pockets. Can't have enough pockets. Okay, so now we are not going to make this too wide because we want to have that space. So let's stay away at least a half inch away. So how wide is that then? Four inches. Okay, that's wide enough for a nice pocket. part begins yes nice nice pocket and the place for magnets yeah I like that that is cool I still want to check if I'm still straight, yes I am. 
perfect. Whew. Thank God for that. <laughs> Alright, so let's get some decoration and see what we can do. Cool. Well, let's just start with step one. Let's first do the pocket. Uh, again, I'm gonna use this background. I love the wet. Love it. But there are so much other colors, of course, which you can use. But I just had this little piece left, so I'm gonna use it. Then I like this black and white. You know I do. Gonna use it, and it's a little shorter, but no worries. I'm gonna mix that up with this nice strip. Ta-da! Perfect. See, it's that easy. It is. Okay, so let's. I'm just leave this plain for now. I'm going to do the inside of this piece first. Now remember, we are having photo mat. So again, I'm going to make a photo mat here. Decorate some design paper on here. And then perhaps a nice um, decorative piece on this piece. But I'll be back. I'm going to show you step by step what I do and then I do the decoration off camera. <laughs> okay, so I made another frame so it will come back on pretty much every page. Uh, then I decorate the inside with this flower sheet. And then I made some photo collage with two design papers. Okay, so let's continue with the next page. Okay, so again, I'm going to make a photo frame right here, some decoration in the middle, and let's see what we can do on the white side. Okay, cool. Mm. Alright, so the next page I made, okay, another uh, border with the background of this page, but you can use any border you like. Um, with a photo mat, then I covered up this with green. And then on the white side, I just covered up with design paper because I do not want too much white. Okay, so let's continue with the next one. I think another nice picture frame, nice decoration. So yeah, let's see. Okay. Okay, um, I am at this part on this piece. I um, made some decoration frame photo mat right here. Did the middle and I thought I will do a little cute <laughs> I don't know but I thought I will let that flyer flicker come back a little more so I cut out the piece that fits on here that's the start where I did that then on the back I drew the lines the same shape as oh I hope we can see that yeah this is better <laughs> so the same shape as that diamond shape, well, flieger shape, flyer shape. And now I'm going to cut all those pieces. And then I'm just going to see how it goes. So the outside, I want to save for the outside. Okay, and then the inside. I want to do different colors. Okay, so these I keep. Now I have this shape. And I'm going to cut these pieces. So these are my templates. And of course I always can use them later if I want but I'm gonna choose a few different shapes well let's see let's do the green one let's cut it out now be 
before I go further, then I absolutely need to be sure that I am good. So this is the um, oh yeah, make a puzzle. <laughs> okay, let's use this man. Or shall we? Well, I can use that other one. And it needs to go here. Okay. Well, let's use another color. <laughs> Do I have a leftover piece? Nope, I don't. Ooh. Okay. Um. Where is? Of course, I want a red color. Tricky, but hey, we love doing awkward things, don't we? Okay, yes, that's this piece right here. Okay, another one. Let's use this color, this color. Mm. I want down here, so I'm gonna cut right here. Do something wild, do something totally different. I think it's a good fit. Okay, and then like yellow so that's this shape right here mm. I think I'm gonna do it like this so I don't have to throw away too much paper Okay guys, let's see how this turns out. I could have done this with my video on, but I know that if I show you that I bet I get questions how I did that. So why not film right away? Yes, I like that. Okay, now you don't have to throw this away. I still can use them. Okay, let's see how I can apply this best way I think the best way is just start at the corners yeah I think that is the best way just see how it goes straight as possible these points to each other that is correct now mm, what do you think shall I do first these ones I think I do oh this one is a bit longer see this point is a bit longer, so I need to cut down that just a little. Okay, I think I'm gonna do first these papers. Not 
try to do these as perfect as I can, but it takes time, but okay. I'm with you and you are with me. I feel the presence. <laughs> okay, now I think it's time to do the outside. It's just like a little puzzle. Yeah, and I just love how it all comes. To a good end, I hope. <laughs> I hope, I hope. And like I said, it does not have to be that perfect, but we are going to do the best we can. That's the meaning. Okay, let's see. Let's first take a shot right here. And then this. Oh, well, 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 well. Well, now I have to make a move a bit. Let's see. Let's first do this one. Oh, it's pretty good. Okay, that was quiet. <laughs> Here I see just a little, just a little tiny bit. Yep, just couldn't cut it off. No worries, no worries. And then this piece. Yeah, it's okay. Yes, I like that. And now we're going to draw those little lines. If you like that. Yeah, I know I like that. But you don't have to do this. But that's also a nice way of making it just a little perfect. See how that blends in nicely. See. Okay, how fun is this? Cool, okay, again, it takes a while, but I love it. Yeah, how cool is this? Oh, not to go fast, oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway, oh, the glue is going everywhere. I think I need to go downstairs and need to clean up my hands. Alright, so yeah, I like how this page turns out. I like this. This is cool and playful and it comes back um, on here. So yeah, cool. Yeah, let's turn on this page. Let's see what we can figure out there. Okay, so um, yeah, again, nice frame, photo frame. And on decoration on the middle and on here I used that background of that black white with this trip on the bottom. Yeah, always nice to have a nice little um, picture or something. I did cut them out, but I will do that on the very, very last minute when it's almost done. Alright, so I have a one, one page left to do and then we'll see about that closure. So, fingers crossed that I still have the place for it. <laughs> Okay, that last page, that last page was this. I let this come back as I did on the front. And then I did some decoration right here. Okay, so now I folded these little fold lines. So it's a little round. Okay, so if we put all this back... It's nice thick already so and when you put that pictures on then it will be thicker so we need that space so I'm glad I did this 
and I'm gonna add this magnet at the loosest point I can because it's going to be thicker you know that so I'm gonna add this just like this and this yeah this is going to be a right one so I'm just going to push it down and here it is here's our magnet now we can close it down yes that's perfect okay so I'm gonna put some decoration paper on and I choose a yellow strip on each side Oh, I could use blue, but I'm going to choose for yellow. A yellow strip. First, I'm going to glue these on each side, so I perhaps can adjust that flower piece. But perhaps it's the good size. Well, it is. Don't forget the smudge. Yes, and that's that. So now we can put some decoration on here. And I want this as black and white as possible. Just to smooth things down. Because this is a busy page already. So I'm just going to put some decoration on here. And again, I'm going to stitch that up with a white gel pen. I just love doing that. So I can highly recommend a nice gel pen. Especially when you are using a lot of black. I just love that. Well, this brand is the Jelly Wall. I love that. It's a good one. And um, blah, blah, blah. so I'm going to choose some... I do like... Let that black come in back. Shall I just make a black one? Black with dots. You know I like dots. <laughs> dots and stripe. That is almost my middle name. <laughs> okay. Let's cut this down a little shorter. Oh yeah. Perfect. Here we go. And that's that. And yes, we can put a nice decoration on here. And I remembered, oh my gosh, Diane, you should wait. Yeah, I know. I know. But I remembered that I cut out a few of these little pieces. Like these. Oh yeah, um, like these two. So that is a possibility. Oh, I love that. I love that blue one. So yes, I'm going to use that <laughs> You should wait. I know, but this is the perfect time for it. It's the perfect decoration. So before I forget using it right here, I am just going to use it right here. Yes, perfect. Perfect touch. Don't you think that's the perfect touch of this busy page? Yes, it is. I believe it is. <laughs> and I believe in myself. So, only making a nice tag right here. Yeah, I still have an envelope. What I still can put in. But you get the picture. Pocket, 
nice closure oh of course i do need to do the back yes i will do that off camera and then this goes on and on and on i love this one and on and on cool so yeah lots 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 of nice place to put something in yeah and then this is the back perfect applause for myself <laughs> So I will do the back of this one and then I'm going to, I think, yeah, then it's time to do the cover. See what measurements is going to be needed. Oh, love it.